full body mobility routine to get better movement or at least the stiff shoulders and the back and also great to start before the training to get better range of motion you can start with the neck straight stance and just look over each shoulders left to the right eight ten times it's gonna be a free waist neck movement after up chin to the chest try to avoid not leaning back so don't lean back so the back is straight just the head is moving up, down even I can help a bit if I feel stiff or up I can push my neck and ears to shoulder right shoulder right ear left left ear I don't want to shrug the other shoulder up I want to push my hand down so if I wrap my right shoulder ear together my left hand goes down a bit I feel even more stretching the other side yeah a few times it's very good yeah. it's a bit of stiff neck so start one of the arm is going to give the figure eight I start the big circle at the bottom and I finish overhead just like a huge number eight I'm writing down with my straight arm so I'm not bending my arm I'm not doing this waving movement arm is straight especially overhead I have to feel this kind of tight after a while so you just bring your arm back here you want to avoid this back is straight big circle overhead and go down each arm each side so both direction about eight and the reps let's go to the other one big circle at the bottom and go up to the top so it is very typical so we're gonna have a couple of nice movement to the shoulder to make it more loose and it's good to start before the training routine as well if you follow the 12 weeks program but also it's a great way to start the morning with it yeah a few times and i'm just changing direction again shake it yeah t-spine so just breathe in touch your shoulder blades behind you and like a cat arch your back inhale Tense the muscles a bit. Inhale. Tight. Release. Exhale. Shoulders. Now you can a few times just big circles normally. So shoulders very easily get tight. And uh, just because of the posture, we have usually a lot of sitting, driving using the phone even just using like this is also make the neck and the shoulders tight so we're gonna work on it a bit more the next one arms together i bring my arm and big circle palms together i put my elbows together as well and go behind so. So I try to keep my elbows and palms together, even if I open my hands, but my elbows still together, I feel a very good stroke there as well. I'm going to each direction, big circles, my arms in my periphery of viewing, so not in front of me, behind me nearly, palms together behind me, inhale, then together. One more movement for shoulders. It's gonna be the waiter's drill. Palms upward. Turn it out, just like you have a plate in your hand. And back overhead.
paid ten times again. In hell, X7 is coming back. One arm straight overhead back. And I try to do the same to the other direction. So from here it goes overhead, turn and back. You can try with some light object on your palms. Definitely something what if you drop is not hurting you or can break it. A shoe, a slipper, a little book, perfect. Other one, out, overhead. One arm straight, back overhead. Eight and times. Oh, this. I just changed direction. Now it's upward and goes around. If you have tight shoulders, this is one of the best view. Figure eight. Both hands. Might be at the beginning. It's a bit difficult, but it's good to try palm facing upward to the side back overhead and other direction shake the arms elbows down problem people just doing this kind of short range of motion now you want to use all of your range of motion so even one arm turn my hand and I want to get the bigger motion of range can I can get and the wrist pelvis pelvis we have to be able to move in a different direction sideways forward and around the first one is gonna be a bit funny especially if you are a man uh, it's a little bit feminine but it's very important we have to do sideways so feet on the floor and just the pelvis moving the hips so keep the foot on the floor don't lift your heel up and as you that way I'm gonna go back more a bit you can see more maybe so you can see I'm not elevating my heel just the pelvis goes sideways I want to push down towards my feet or the one I want to pull up without losing the center lane so I'm not leaning sideways and not like this it's, it's not easy at the beginning but definitely gonna make lose the area about the low back okay second one it's more kind of man like movement tense the core and the glutes so pelvis moving now this way inhale exhale tense the core and glutes and now after the circle without losing the uh, central line so i don't want to move sideways so it's not hip turn like that it's gonna be after now it's just the pelvis so with sideways forward backward and circle it's very important if we want to be healthy and strong we have to be able to move our body as a unit everything in one and also we have to be able to move some part of our body separately just like this and the hips mobility is very important again so one of the hand on the floor the floor on the wall and circles around each leg big circles about eight ten times each direction more a bit sideways than 
in front of me each direction each side of course And now just put your palms to the kidneys, so not this way, palms and the kidneys. The reason is why, because uh, if you have sensitive low back, it supports more the back. And now you can lean more deeper and around again. And let's a bit mix. Legs, around. Hips, a little bit mixing, a bit sideways, forward. Circle and grab the kneecaps. Going downward, knees around. Close your feet, left to right, right to left. Open the knees and circle in each direction. And shake it. Let's go to the ankles. Let's do the ankles into the corner, ball of your foot on the wall. And the first is a little bit the hamstrings as well. If I push my hips closer to the wall, I feel the upper calf and the hamstrings. But if I bend my knee, I try to do some circles. I'm gonna feel the ankle really well. And the higher your ball of your foot on the wall, bigger circle you do, better ankle mobility you have. So if my ball of my foot lower here, probably I have very tight ankles, especially if I can't bend my knee. But if I keep it up high like this, and I bend my knee, I have circles. And you can approach really, really well, nearly touch the wall. That's a good ankle mobility. Each side. And the first, I just push my hips forward. Straight knee with. It not looks like it might be straight, but it is. And I just do small circles at the beginning, very small. And time by time I try to do bigger, bigger circles. Okay, and after just a step back to my foot, stretch a bit. And side is at my toes as well. One, and two. And the last one to the ankles, I flat my foot on the floor, the left one, so I'm doing it on the back leg now, on this one. Yeah, I'm going lower. If my knee approaching nearly the mat, I'm going lower there, without lifting the heel. I feel the Achilles, and the ankles again, and again out of back. Yeah. Another good thing, you just walk like this a bit. We just realized we have problem with it when we have a bad step, step of the stairs, or just we have an unintended step somewhere, and uh, it's just getting hurt because it's too tight, and uh, if no mobility, it's more vulnerable than normal. So I keep walking on my heel, on my blade of my feet, on my ball of my feet, and a little bit inside, and some circles today. So it was the full body mobility routine. I recommend to you to start definitely every morning with it, or at least just some part of it. If you feel you have stiff shoulders, choose the shoulder drills, or you have hips or ankle or neck problems, choose those drills which one you feel you need to get better movements and less pain. Also very good way to start the 12 weeks training program with it is a great warm up and gait mobility routine to the whole body.